in the normal muffler. That's uh, all they do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going tonight? Well, we're combining mustard. Uh, got going here a little bit ago. Dad's been going for most of the afternoon with the 2188, but had a couple hiccups with the header. Uh, so he didn't get, well, he's got a bit done, but not a hell of a pile. But anyway, made it out here at the 9600 anyway, and we're getting uh, a little pile in there. I don't know. There's some out here. It's kind of the shits because uh, so dry all year and all spring. Quite a bit of the seed never germinated. And now that we've been getting these rains, now it's growing. So you can see there's one that's flowering there. So you got that bit of green shit in the sample. The seed is dry. But that green garbage makes the, uh, the sample tough. But I think the uh, the mustard itself and everything's dry enough. I'm gonna take it, put it on aeration, and it'll uh, dry out on its own there in the bin. I think so, without having to worry too much about it. Anyway, it's darker out than what it looks like on the camera, so I'm gonna keep paying attention to what's happening here, so I don't scoop up a rock. I'll probably bring you guys back tomorrow. We got a sort and haul of calves. So we won't be out here till after dinner anyway, but now that both combines are here, it ain't gonna take long anyways. So yeah, I guess we will talk to you guys in a little bit. Well, it's been a few days, but we are finally back at the mustard. And we're gonna be done it here in the next all hour, give or take. We're down to just the 9600, the 2188, something let go on the header, and uh, the whole, well, the knife on one side, and the uh, auger quit turning. There must be a keyway or something that's stripped out. There's a great big sprocket with a chain on it, kind of drives everything on that one end. And even just freewheel the uh, drive shaft, and nothing happens so I guess one more uh, winter project I wanted to put that header through the shop anyway and uh, do a bunch of shit to it so that'll be uh, just one more thing added to the list of things to do to it because I bought a different something that goes with that header so we got to take our adapter off that was made for the 2188 and put the header back to the way it was because it's going to go with the thing that that header was made to go with. Or a little bit closer to it anyway than the 21 is. <laughs> That's all you're getting to know. If any of you guys want 2188s for sale, fucking shoot me a message. I'll give you a good deal. Anyway, keep on thrashing here. Our uh, full bin light came on, but this whole hill here is kind of shit there's not not uh, too heavy right here it gets better as we go but about halfway over the window I want to make a right full hopper to make a nice picture <laughs> and then uh, yeah we'll go dump we'll have the Detroit full and then Grandpa Henry brought me the uh, red and white uh, 75 3 ton out here so whatever's the, the extra will go on that truck when we're done so it won't be much more than half a hopper I think to uh, after we go dump this hopper out but we're only gonna probably get half of this on the Detroit if I had to take a guess so that's mint anyway I'm gonna go back to paying attention to what's happening here so we don't plug the old girl cock stiff because there's a bunch of green bullshit growing up from the bottom with all this rain and crap we've had see right here nothing but then you see all that green underneath that's actually all the mustard 
It was so dry this spring and all summer here, that is actually mustard that we sowed in the spring and it never germinated till now, now that we're getting this rain. Like look at it on that hill. It's all in the rows and everything, so. Ridiculous. Anyway. Keep on thrashing and we'll, hey, look at all that. I'm trying to keep my header up above it, but I don't want to miss any of the, of the actual crop, so. Anyway, talk to you in a bit. Well, that's all she wrote. Oh, that's hard to see. The Detroit's railed, and I got a little pile in the middle of the uh, three ton over there. According to the 9600, at 18.3, which I think seems maybe a little optimistic. For uh, being 55 acres, I don't know. With canola, there's probably about 600 and 700. I don't have to do the math. About 700 off the 55 acres, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I don't know. I don't really know how it's gonna weigh up in the truck if it's gonna be like how the canola is or what. I know it's a little bit bigger of a seed, but it's the same bushel weight. So anyway, I folded the hopper topper all in. I swept out the hopper the best I could by hand for now. Uh, we're gonna take this back to Grandpa's yard. Leave the combine for now. I'll get him to bring me back. We'll get the 21. Then we'll come back and I'll take the red and white three ton home. And then uh, see what time it is. I might get Amanda or Dad to give me a ride back again and get the Detroit. And then I can dump the pair of them out tomorrow into the aeration bin and turn the fan on it for a little while and get some samples mailed away. So. That is the plan for now, so get this back home and we'll talk to you in a few. Mustard! So, getting the truck, this truck dump, and we'll have to go and get the uh, three ton but gonna catch quite a bit of sample through this truck so I can uh, when I go through town on the way over to grandpa's I can mail some sample bags off and hopefully get this stuff sold rather quickly anyway uh, I'm gonna turn that aeration fan on once we've got this truck dumped in it and then uh, yeah, we'll run the fan for the weekend while it's nice out. Uh, probably Monday, I guess, too. It's going to be 6 degrees and sunny, so it'll still, still be getting air through it at least anyway. So. That's the plan. I'm nervous dumping this stuff because it's worth so much just in case something were to screw up, which I know it won't, but I still get nervous. So, <laughs> Anyway, I don't want to spill none. Oh, we're going to have to lift our box up a bit. So... Bring it back in a few. Well, I don't even remember when I talked to you last. I think we were dumping the mustard out. We're in the 835 with the heavy arrows. We're actually on pea stubble right now and it's doing a pretty nice job. I to kind of ash and smash it up a little bit ahead of the air seeder for next year. Just I know seed hawks kind of like to make uh, lumps, so especially in pea straw if it's damp. So it's kind of smashing it up into a little more manageable pieces. So um, we're actually working on three quarters here right now. That's what it looks like. This quarter over here is canola stubble, and then this half section is the uh, peas. So we've got a little chunk done, but we got a ways to go yet. going what eight about eight and a half miles an hour kind of thing eight 70 feet wide so we're getting things done anyway but
about all I can tell you really so keep on keeping on and talk to you in a few.